An Arctic blast is likely next weekend in the United States, which means the return of very cold weather for much of the country, including the potential for sub-zero temperatures, maybe even some snowfall, and also the potential for maybe a little bit of severe weather as we get closer to Thanksgiving. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about this big weather pattern change that will be impacting the United States as we go into next week. Let's begin with what's happening across the country this morning, and for the time being, we do have a low-pressure system that is finally moving out of the Northeast. This is what brought a ton of snowfall to areas like Pennsylvania and New York yesterday. Many of you actually sent in photos in some areas in Northeast Pennsylvania, picked up near 15 inches of snowfall. So a lot of snow fell yesterday. A lot of that again is now moving out and we are going to be done with snow for a few days. And then back over on the West Coast, that is where we are continuing to watch atmospheric rivers penetrate plenty of rainfall to areas like California, Oregon, and as well as Washington and areas in North Northern California have picked up as much as 15 inches of rain thus far and more is to come over the next 48 hours. For the remainder of the country, things are dry for the time being, but I do think that'll change a little bit as we get closer to Thanksgiving. Now, we are expecting a big cold blast across the United States as we get closer to Thanksgiving and Black Friday, and I do think that this will be the biggest one that we've seen so far this fall, even more impactful than the one that we just had over the last few days. This is what it looks like as we go into Thursday and into Friday. We are going to have a weather pattern and that's going to basically allow for Arctic air to come out of Canada. And eventually this is going to usher into areas like the Midwest, the East Coast of the United States, the Ohio Valley, and even parts of the Great Plains will feel some impacts out of this due to the large scale nature that we are currently thinking this cold blast is going to end up bringing as we get closer to Black Friday. Eventually, as we go into the weekend and into early next week, this is likely to continue, especially in the Northeast United States. Even as we go into the first week of December, well below average temperatures do appear likely and we could even see some record breaking temperatures as well in terms of low temperatures out of this particular weather pattern and we also could see multiple shots of cold air out of this particular system you'll see that there's one shot as we get closer to black friday another one by saturday into sunday in the midwest and then yet again another one on the northeast and east coast of the united states as we go to the middle of next week now again that is about 10 days out so things could change but the likelihood of us at least seeing one shot of cold air does appear likely so what's exactly going to happen closer to the surface and how cold is it actually going to get well the coldest of the weather is really going to be felt again by the end of next week you'll notice over the next few days we are not going to really see any major temperature anomalies across the board temperatures relatively either slightly below average or slightly above average by wednesday of this week it really changes though by thursday into friday the first shot of cold air will likely usher in to areas like the central and southern plains back into the ohio valley on thanksgiving this is where the coldest air is going to reside it's going to be mostly confined areas in the northern plains in Canada, but this is expected to drop out of Canada as we go into Saturday and as well as into Sunday, and eventually the coldest of the weather will likely be in the first week of December. This is by Sunday night. Well below average temperatures are likely across the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and the East Coast of the United States, and this is, again, well below average temperatures, especially in the purple area, so be prepared, again, for maybe some very cold weather and also the potential for freezing temperatures in many areas perhaps even as far south as the southeast United States. Eventually, by the following week, things do become, again, more uncertain by then since that's 10 days out, but it does appear as if we are going to have a lot more colder weather ahead for areas along the east coast of the United States. So a little early feel here of winter as we get closer to December. Now, what are the actual temperatures going to be? Well, let's go ahead and begin with what it looks like this week. We are going to continue to see a rel relatively warm weather pattern, especially in the southern plains, but we will have a cold front pushing through as we go into Monday, and that'll eventually bring colder weather and below freezing temperatures to areas like the Ohio Valley by Tuesday. Now, the temperature is again going to be pretty stagnant for Wednesday. Eventually, by Thanksgiving, it's going to be pretty cold back up in the northern plains, many areas sub zero back over North Dakota. By Friday morning, that freezing line will likely drop as far south as Oklahoma. We could even see that leak into Texas just after Thanksgiving as well. Eventually, as we go into Saturday into Sunday, you'll notice that freezing line rises a bit further up to the north, but eventually, the cold of the air is likely to be sometime around Sunday or Monday of next week. And again, it could get pretty chilly. Again, that's still over seven days from now, so things could definitely change here. But you'll notice here, again, even in the Midwest, many areas around the, you know, the single digits, even by next Monday morning. And then after that, cold weather will continue in areas like the Ohio Valley and as well as the Northeast. Now let's talk more about what's going to be happening over the next several days in terms of rainfall, snow, and also the potential maybe for some severe weather as we go later into this week. Beginning with the this 
weekend, things are going to stay relatively dry for most of the country, the only exceptions being the West Coast and also the Northeast. Eventually, as we get closer to Monday morning, we will have a weak low pressure system forming over the Great Lakes. There will be a potential for snowfall on the northern side of that, so areas in Wisconsin, also the upper Michigan Peninsula could end up seeing maybe some flurries to maybe a couple inches of snow as we go into Monday. By Tuesday into Wednesday, that trough races to the Northeast, and eventually we are going to be dealing with a bit of a messy weather pattern Tuesday into Wednesday from California back into Colorado with some snow in the higher elevations, rain continuing in California. Eventually by late Wednesday into Thursday, that is when we're likely to see a storm form back over in the Ohio Valley. And this could be our next big storm that's in the at least foreseeable future. This one right now does not seem as if it's going to be a big winter storm, but there's definitely going to be a chance for some snow in areas like Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, New York. But again, exactly how much snow falls and where it exactly positions is still relatively unknown. Just something to watch for in those areas. And then there will also be a potential maybe for a few isolated severe storms uh, Wednesday into Thursday across parts of the southeast in the Dixie Alley and the lower Ohio Valley. So something to watch for if you have any outdoor plans. We could even see that linger into Thursday night. And eventually by Friday, this moves to the northeast. It actually shows a nor'easter uh, as we go into Friday. But again, there's really no uh, forecasting ability here since this is still over six days out from now. And eventually as we go into Saturday into Sunday of next weekend, things become slightly quieter. But eventually we're going to probably see the return at least of some lake effect snow because of that arctic blast if not we could even see another large storm form somewhere in the dixie alley and maybe the return of dixie alley severe weather season uh finally arrives so that'll be something to watch for then now in terms of total snowfall accumulation between now and monday of this week so really just over the next three days not really much happening for most of the lower 48 the higher elevations of california though could see as much as 100 inches of snow between now and monday night and eventually as we go into wednesday thursday and friday of next week it looks like we're going to have some snow up here, maybe in the Northeast and also the Ohio Valley. But again, the exact snowfall accumulation is very uncertain. And there's also a potential none of these areas see snow. It's going to depend on where that trough exactly goes on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, in terms of total rainfall accumulation, we will be talking about a lot of rain on the West Coast for the next few days, even back over on the East Coast and the Northeast between now and Wednesday morning. Should get a decent amount of rain over there, at least enough to help, you know, with the drought situation that's ongoing. Eventually, as we go later in into next week around Thanksgiving and just after Thanksgiving, those rainfall totals are likely to increase in the Ohio Valley, up and down the East Coast, and also into the Southeast United States. Now, the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting a high likelihood of a below average temperatures basically anywhere east of the Rocky Mountains as we get closer to Thanksgiving all the way through uh, Cyber Monday. So that's, again, the time frame to watch for for below average temperatures. And then in terms of rainfall and snowfall, we are likely to see above average rain and snowfall across the East Coast all the way back over into the northern plains and then below average across the west coast which those areas do need a break from the atmospheric rivers between thanksgiving and again cyber monday and don't forget we do have our happy holidays merch out at shopmaxvelocity.net it is the top link in the description below we have t-shirts v-necks and as well as crew necks and we also have mugs and stickers and youth t-shirts all available at the top link in the description below at shopmaxvelocity.net and don't forget you can get five dollars off any fifty dollar purchase or more with the code black friday